The Ibn Khaldun Fellowship is a program at MIT that brings Saudi Arabian women PhDs to MIT to do research with MIT faculty. The program is competitive. We have a number of applicants for it every year. We review the applications and we look at who is the strongest candidate, whose research plan is best for MIT, and then we only invite a subset of the candidates. The Ibn Khaldun program is sponsored partially by King Fahad University of Petroleum and Minerals and partially by Saudi Aramco. We have a total of about seven fellows per year at the moment at MIT and we have a new group coming each year to work with us. Ellen Swallow Richards uh, was the first uh, woman to graduate from MIT in 1873. And soon after that, uh, she became the first woman instructor at MIT. Um, uh, so her work, in fact, on uh, testing uh, drinking water uh, supplies and uh, water contaminants, um, you know, made her uh, a very famous woman and a very famous uh, scientist. And uh, we hope, actually, through our Ibn Khaldun uh, Fellowship Program, you know, to have uh, our uh, Saudi Arabian women uh, fellows uh, to be also very successful and also very famous uh, in that way. Uh, so today it's actually great uh, for us to have at MIT uh, uh, Saudi women uh, scientists uh, continuing, you know, that tradition, a tradition that had started uh, a long time ago and one can perhaps mention that in the uh, uh, Arabian uh, region uh, we had uh, 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 major contributions that were made by uh, women in various uh, fields, and to name one, perhaps uh, Zubaydah, the wife of uh, Harun al-Rashid. So anyone who's applying um, just has the opportunity to work with some of the top scientists in the world. Um, it's also a wonderful culture. MIT is a great place, and um, being here um, it's like it's, it's like an accelerator. MIT is uh, what I call a perfect meritocracy. You know, really it doesn't matter where you come from, who your family is. What really matters is who you are and what kind of work you do. I believe being at MIT is a rich experience, uh, which I really needed. Uh, it adds uh, a lot of, uh, to me. Uh, I've learned a lot, not only about my field, uh, it's also about uh, the life in general and about myself. So uh, I, um, yeah, I think this is a fruitful experience that uh, I suggest uh, more Saudi women to come and join this program. Mm. Uh, Ibn Khaldun Fellowship challenge, uh, I think it challenges uh, all the fellows uh, in terms of uh, being in such a such challenging environment as, as if show us what you what you will do. We give you everything. We give you the support, the financial support and uh, the personal support and we give you all the facilities. So we want you to, to show us your abilities in, in using and utilizing all these um, uh, offers. So this is, uh, this is on its own is very challenging. Uh, because we, you don't really want to either uh, disappoint yourself or disappoint the, the, the sponsors. Uh, and even you don't want uh, to miss this chance of being uh, here and not, uh, and not even making the most of it. One of the great things about being at NMIT is that there's a big seminar culture. So if there's any topic that you're interested in at any time, there's probably somebody giving a groundbreaking lecture on it right now. <laughs> um, so even outside of your, your particular focus for your research, there's a great opportunity to explore other avenues as well. You know, one of the challenges becomes like there are so many things to, I want to do. How do I, you know, fit all the things in my schedule? So that I think becomes the major challenge going on after the adaptation um, process is over. But um, definitely, the biggest outcome for everybody, um, I would say, is uh, that this year is a life changing in many ways. So we're in Cambridge and Boston. It's one of the big metropolitan areas of the US. Um, there are, in addition to MIT, you may have heard of Harvard, it's nearby too. Um, and as well as, I think there is up to 40 different institutions here. There's also the birthplace of American Revolution. Um, there's a lot of history here. Um, 
and uh, wonderful schools for children. It's just a great community. You know, the achievements have been very substantial so far. Uh, most of our fellows have published uh, several papers uh, in journals and conferences as a result of their work here. One of the papers that was presented was by uh, uh, Dr. Malak Al-Nuri from Ifat University. She presented the first, uh, the first desalination paper at, a desalination, at an international desalination conference by a Saudi Arabian woman. And this international conference had been operating for many years, and she was the first. One of our fellows recently came up with a patent disclosure. It will be the first patent uh, generated by uh, the Ibn Khaldun program. And some of our fellows have gone back to their universities and taken on uh, positions of increasing leadership. Uh, in research uh, at their universities. So we're seeing a whole spectrum of accomplishments that, uh, that uh, we're very proud of and you know, we're very happy that our fellows have been able to make such good use of their time at MIT. The best moment for me is to learn and discover new things in mathematics. And this is what I've been through here. Um, we discovered new things, we discovered the new theorems and we just published and this is the big accomplish for me. At our annual workshop each year, the fellows have an opportunity to present for the entire MIT community. Their research is varied and is on topics as wide-ranging as cybersecurity, mathematics, chemical and mechanical engineering, and more. Yeah, we at MIT are uh, very grateful to our sponsors uh, uh, in Saudi Arabia, KFUPM, uh, Saudi Aramco, uh, the home institutions of the, uh, of the fellows uh, for all of their support uh, and the great opportunity to work together and to contribute uh, together uh, to science and the, uh, uh, the well-being uh, of humanity. Mm -hmm.